I really hope I'm on camera. I feel like my posture is really weird. I have this weird posture. I don't know, like, am I in frame? What's up guys, I'm Rave with Shay. As you can see, I'm working on a, another video for a tutorial on how to feed and braid your hair. Today is May 1st of 2020. Today's day 57 of quarantine for me. I just finished watching Emma Capotis do her top 10 EDM sets of all time and she was talking about, I'm like already sweating. I'm, I had this hood on because I wanted to cover up my braids. If you're new here, my name is Shay. I just started my YouTube channel about a month ago and I was tagged by Living by the F Word in Vibe with Aid and Emma Capotis's top 10 rave edition challenge. So tag, you are it. You don't have to officially be tagged by anyone, any content creator, anyone with a camera, anyone that wants to play. Come play, pick your top 10 EDM sets of all time. I'm gonna do mine. I'm gonna start with 10, I'm gonna tell you why. Some of them are music festivals, some of them are actual raves, shows here in Memphis, some of them are just regular music festivals. I stole Lee's chair, so he's playing video games standing up, and I stole his sweater, um, but I love it. It's so pretty and it's soft. I did get his top 10, so stay tuned for that at the very end. Number 10 is Zed. We saw Zed at Beale Street Music Fest, Memphis in May of 2016. This is a multi-genre festival, and Lee was determined to go see Zed. There are three stages set up along Riverside Drive, which I live downtown in Memphis. There is one road that goes right up the river. They shut that down. It's actually supposed to be happening today, the first weekend in May. Lewis the Child was supposed to be here Sunday. Oh, man. I don't think I actually have any clips from it, but I do have this awesome picture. I think I have a picture of me and I have a picture of Zed. It was incredible. Amazing, got me into EDM. Number nine, Zomboy came to Memphis. We have New Daisy Theater downtown on the historic Beale Street. They used to have something called Daisyland. I usually forget to take any videos or pictures, but I happen to have some. Lee's gonna kill me for putting this video up. I am in a white dress. I think I have the date. July 19th of 2017. It was awesome. I was dancing so hardcore. I was headbanging. Lee was headbanging. We had the time of our life. Number eight, November of last year, BTSM killed it. They were incredible. It's in my intro. They zombie. Hey, Dad, I'm a zombie. A 
I'm a zombie. Mm -hmm. Okay, Shana, don't try to be a DJ. <laughs> Um, Black Tiger Sex Machine, just, I mean, I'll just let it speak for itself. There's one thing left before you go. Fantastic. I think it was Yellow Claw and then BTSM. It was absolutely insane. Number seven is Flux Pavilion. They're also in my intro. This was at Sunset Music Fest in Tampa, Florida in 2019. Right back to the beginning. a lot of incredible sunset moments. Got there at sunset, we drove into Tampa, into clear water as the sun was setting on the beautiful water. Incredible, magical. And then every night while we were in Florida, we were at Sunset Music Festival at the sunset stage during sunset. We left the main stage and we went to the, it was called the Eclipse stage and the cameras literally went up, like up and above you. Um, I guess like an eclipse. So like we were in VIP, so we're up here. We can see all these heads bobbing down below. I think I talked about this in my my first time challenge. If you haven't seen that, check that out. Number six, Skrillex at Lights on Light this past December 2019. It was awesome. It was day one. I don't even have any pics and vids because I'm a headbanger. We're inside and we're in VIP. VIP is really cool. If you ever go to Lights on Light, it's only $100 more for VIP and you get ex expedited entry. Headbanging, don't even have pictures or videos because I was headbanging the whole time. <laughs> Skrillex, that's actually Lee's on his list. So we went to Sunset to see Skrillex. Number five, Alice in Wonderland, Sunset 2019. Fell in love with her, she was incredible. Come with me, let's go. But Alice in Wonderland was crazy incredible. And we were in VIP front row. There was this little blonde girl, she was so cute. She had me come get up on the rail with her. Lee and her traded candy. I saw her three times last year. So Sunset was when I discovered her, became obsessed with her. We saw her at Imagine. I believe Emma Capotis was at lane eight and I was at Alice in Wonderland. I wonder what her lane eight, what number it was. Number four, Seven Lions, the time I saw him live, was at Lights All Night Dallas 2017. It was, I believe it was Nightmare, Seven Lions, and then Marshmallow. And I think that one of those is on Lee's list. I'm like really bad at spoiler alerts. I doubt that I have, I might have video. We'll look, I don't know. I'll try to link down below. Number three, drum roll please. This is the longest video ever. It is Liquid Stranger. We saw Liquid Stranger at Daisyland. We actually missed him when he was at Lights All Night. Liquid Stranger was dope and love him and Number three, mostly nostalgia. So I met my Memphis Rave fam this night. This was just a couple months ago. It feels like forever ago. It's crazy how time like sits still, but it also zips by. It's like already May of 2020, like what? Heaven Langford, hey girl, she, I'll pop up some pics and vids. She came to our house and Robert, Lee's little brother, my little brother-in-law, Lee drove, it's an hour and a half drive to Mississippi. It's actually, the Lyric Oxford's more of like a college kid venue. It's the University of Memphis. We went there for Hippie Sabotage. It was a huge college crowd. But for Liquid Stranger, it was a lot of people from Memphis. It was our first trip in our new Jeep. Oh yeah, check out my Jeep Carvana video. And anyway, Liquid Stranger, I met Carissa and John when we first got to the venue. Carissa was waiting there, she gave me a hug. I'd never met her except for Instagram. She started Memphis Ray Film on Instagram the same night that I did. Like, we're soul sisters. Anyway, it was so great. She hugged me, met John. Love you guys. Memphis Raid fan. <laughs> Now 
met Carissa and her husband. He had an alien thing on. I wish, oh, we do have pictures. Here's our Memphis Ray fam. Oh, it's so cool. Carissa and I traded candy. I know you guys have seen it, but I'm gonna put it up. Cheers, love. Yeah, it's just awesome. It's nostalgia. I'm head banging. Dirt Monkey was awesome. I think I missed Lucid. I was up on the rail. We were all up on the rail. We were head banging. I met this awesome girl. We were doing some weird dance stuff and hugging and getting to know each other really well. By the time Liquid Stranger came on, like by the third song, I had to take a break. I was on the rail head banging. Like I was literally on the speaker and like my ears were ringing. Y'all, wear earplugs at a music festival, at a rave, any show. Like my talking right now is probably giving you hearing damage. It's no joke. Luckily, Carissa had extra earplugs. So I actually got some really dope videos from the back of the venue. So I'll show you those. <laughs> nice and then I she, you know she came she gave me earplugs went back up to the rail head banged again stayed the entire night Are you ready? Guess where and who? Obviously, I'm a headbanger, bass nectar. This was night two, Lights All Night Dallas. Saturday night, I met Cotton Candy. I know who she is because of Emma Capote. Candy's World tagged me. Doing this candy trade with Cotton Candy. <laughs> her hi cotton candy i doubt you're watching this but it'd be really cool if you did maybe i'll tag you maybe you've already done this we left so i went after him we were awesome so we got a hotel walking distance from the venue so we would uber to the show but then we would walk home so this is night two saturday night i just met cotton candy my day is made my life is made oh my goodness i'm in her video oh my gosh look at her lights all night video that's me oh that's so crazy what are your thoughts on Base Nectar. He leaves, Sly goes after him, Jordan drops her phone, I go find her, we sit down in VIP, we go get double, like double wines to double fist, and there's VIP, they're like not, we do VIP, but not this VIP, this is like tables, and they have this light up stage, it was really cool. And I left, I gave her my perler, my glasses, my sunglasses, and all my stuff so that I can go headbang a little bit. We're missing Liquid Stranger, but Louis the Child was dope, it was really good. And I digress, everywhere, like this is ADD y'all. This is what's in my head. I come back to Jordan, my perler beads are just all over the floor, my sunglasses are on the floor, they're spilled wine. I'm just like, Jordan, I love you, but I don't know what happened. Anyway, then Lee comes back, don't tell lights all night, I guess security's not that great, but it was before midnight. So Lee comes back, we're reunited with our Ray fam, Jordan Sly, me, and Lee, Hey, Texas Ray fam, shout out, love you guys, hope you're staying safe. And I dart for the rail. I'm at the front rail. I meet this girl, Diana. Hey, Diana in El Paso. This is why this is my number two, because like, it was just incredible. I love Bass Nectar, I've seen him a bunch. Diana can attest to this. If you have any pictures, I would love to see you with the perler. So we're up front and we're head banging and like the middle of the set, I look down and my face jewels are on the ground and I had like flung my pink and purple braids like into Bass Nectar. And people were looking at me and like Bass Nectar's killing it, okay? We're in Dallas Saturday night, going hard and head banging and jewels and hair flying everywhere. Anyway, afterwards I like pull the Bass Nectar out of my sports bra. Mind you, it has no beads, so it's super sweaty and I like give it to Diana. It's a memory I'll never forget. So number one, drum roll please. I'm sure you already know what it is. Obviously, Alice in Wonderland. But 
which time and where. So Alice in Wonderland Sunset was my number five. And this one, we also saw her at Imagine, which was incredible. She played all of her own music, which was super awesome, except I can't have her on my list three times, can I? Maybe she's my bonus. This is actually at, what? I don't know what I'm doing. So Alice in Wonderland, you guys, I don't, <laughs> I'm like in a frog pose. Alice in Wonderland, number one at EDC Orlando. We were with our, with our Ray fam, so we met Chelsea and Jay at Imagine in September during Seven Lions, between Seven Lions and Marshmallow. And I see Chelsea is hula hooping and giving a light show to Jay. And I go over there and I'm like, hey guys, um, can I share this light show with you? And they're like, sure. Shout out to Lauren Soto, Jay, Justin, Chelsea, and Juan Quinones, or Quinones. So, my number one, we are at EDC Orlando and Justin and I are like, we are going to the rail. And Lee's like, of course. And Juan is like, all right. And he's in this blue little onesie with a hood with little blue ears. I'm getting tired. And he goes, he goes for it. And during her set, we're going through. And as you get closer and closer to the stage, you can barely move. And I think we lose Lee and Justin like four or five rows back but we make it all the way up to the rail. We are jamming out. I have no pics and vids because we're in the mosh pit basically. We're on the rail. Oh, but I lied. We actually do have video. It's in my intro. Juan had given his camera to someone in ground control and they got a video of us like on the freaking rail. I think I said an Imagine was better, but I was on the rail with my Ray fam and my husband in Orlando. Amazing, I can't stand like this anymore, so I'm gonna give you a little recap and then I'm gonna give you Lee. My top 10 was Zed, Zomboy, BTSM, Flux Pavilion, Skrillex, Alice in Wonderland, Sunset, Seven Lions, Liquid Stranger, Bass Nectar, and Alice in Wonderland, EDCO. If I had a bonus, it would be Alice in Wonderland, Imagine. Lee, number 10, Liquid Stranger, same as me, except that's his number 10. That was in February of 2020. When we met our Memphis Ray fam. Number nine, Excision at EDC Orlando. Number eight, Alice in Wonderland at Sunset. That was actually my number five. Number seven, Marshmallow at Imagine. And number six, RL Grime at EDC Orlando. Number five, Flex Pavilion at Sunset. That was dope. That was my number seven. BTSM Black Tiger Sex Machine at EDC Orlando. That was actually my number eight. That was his number four. So three is Matoma at Imagine Music Festival to Odessa at Austin City Limits. I wasn't there, it was actually his bachelor party, 2018. Him and his boys drove to Austin. By the way, he was probably there. Were you at Odessa? Probably. So Odessa, that was his number two. It was his bachelor party. I'm excited for him. I'm glad it's not his number one because, you know, I'm jealous a little. And number one is Skrillex, 2019 at Lights Only Dallas. That was actually my number six. So you heard it here first. Becca Grace and Jenny and Cotton Candy and BB Howell, you guys are it. Please subscribe, leave me a comment, and tag a friend. Peace.